Hey, good morning. Welcome. Are wrongs ever righted? Today, our reading is at Jeremiah chapter 51, verses 54 to 56, and here are those verses. The sound of a cry comes from Babylon and great destruction from the land of the Chaldeans, because the Lord is plundering Babylon and silencing her loud voice. Though her waves roar like gray waters and the noise of their voice is uttered, because the plunderer comes against her, against Babylon, and her mighty men are taken. Every one of their bows is broken, for the Lord is the God of recompense. He will surely repay. So, now when God ends Babylon, everything is in the open. Everything has been made plain. And you know, it's not a matter of one theory versus another theory, but both theories have been tried and tested, and, and both theories have brought their outcomes. We see that one outcome leads to Satan's kind of self-service Everything is self. It's everything about what I can get and take, and the bigger taking from the smaller, the greater from the weaker. There's that side. And then there's also the picture that Jesus gives us of the ultimate creator, loving creator God who, who steps down into his creation, knowing that he'll be tortured by his own creatures. And yet he steps down anyway, and he offers his hands to have the nails driven through his wrists, knowing that he would have to die to be able to see that people reconciled. One is a picture of striving to go up to the top, and one is a picture of a loving God coming all the way down in order to help us and save us. Those are two quite stark uh, pictures, but those are pictures we need to see and know about. And that's what we see here in, in this passage. The Lord is the God of recompense. He will surely repay. There is a time coming when Everything will be settled. Everything will be put straight and right. Nobody in the end is left just kind of holding the bag morally like, you know, they were mistreated and there's never any recompense. No, in the end, everything is sorted out. And so we want to be uh, on, your, on God's side of the question. We want to be his servants. There we have this picture. The Lord is the God of recompense. Things are not left to just be injustice to continue down into eternity. No, no. God is going to set everything right. He's doing it through the sacrifice made by Jesus Christ to save us. I mean, there Jesus was hanging on the cross, and what does he say? They've nailed him down. They've tortured him. Father, forgive them. They don't fully realize what they're up to, what they're doing. And it's kind of hard for us to think that way when we're in a world where uh, there really are no more moral values or virtues, hardly anymore. All values seem relative. Nothing seems final. And we're used to leaning on experts uh, instead of doing any hard thinking for ourselves. We're just so busy. Everything. How, how could we were so busy? So we rely on the experts. Sometimes the experts do not have our well-being really as the first thing in their, in their list of why they're doing what they're doing. But God knows what's right, and he is undaunted. He's looking at every one of us as one of his sheep. He wants us in the kingdom. Our spiritual dullness does not influence him. He does not modify the truth to meet what we in the moment fancy or think we want. He's trying to bring us up, up to higher ground, so we can be with him in eternity. He's bringing the whole creation to the point of highest reality, to the greatest test, that great moral test for which we were designed and brought into existence. And he wants us all to pass that test on his side. So Jesus urges us to say yes to him. And he calls us to face truth. Let's say yes to him. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, you right all wrongs in the end. We can afford to trust you and wait. You've never let us down before. You've always provided things we could have never provided. Thank you for watching over us. Thank you for calling us. Thank you for wanting us in your kingdom. Oh, Lord, help us to hold on tight in the last, uh, last rapids of Earth's history. May we come through and come out looking like trying to be like, seeking to be like Jesus. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So yes, in the end, all wrongs are righted, and Jesus invites us to accept what he's doing and what he so much wants to do for us. He will be with us today as we serve him this day. God be with you.